Hello everyone and welcome back to Strange Wonders. As always, I'm your host Mr. G. Today we're talking about, huh, another semi-aquatic mammal. Oh well, I'm sure it has enough to talk about. Anyway, in this episode we're talking about the Desmond, a mammal that belongs to the tribe. Yeah, that's a classification that you don't see too much. Desmania. The Desmond is a semi-aquatic animal that likes to sift through the mud and eat worms and stuff like that. Or basically, any swimming invertebrate. Uh, they're not very good at digging, though, despite being related to moles. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> you know, I probably should have just combined this thing with the star-nosed mole. I mean, they're related to moles anyway, so... You know, why didn't I just do that? You know... <sighs> With monsters of the past and monsters of the mind, for the most part, I generally knew uh, what creatures to combine. But here, with these other series, it's kind of hard. So, yeah, I'm sorry that a lot of these are pretty short, but some of these animals just don't have that much to talk about, you know what I mean? Let's just look at the card already and get this over with. You know, so far, I think Strange Wonders is probably the least, uh, inaccurate series. Okay, I probably should have just said most accurate, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, 10 out of 10. Some Desmonds are labeled as endangered, but people don't really care about them, so as such, they're a low-tier priority for most people. The end. Meanwhile... Hey, Professor, you there? Why, yes, I am, a cave dweller. What is it that you seek me for? We have a bit of an issue. We captured a Luzmanverg, but DNA tests have revealed we've actually captured his son, and no one knows where the Professor Luzmanverg is. Ah, uh, not to worry, the fact that you have a son is still key to our victory over our rivals yet. So don't you worry. In fact, I might even argue that it's better you have a son, because... Well, I can't think of a reason just yet, but don't worry. You can still... He is still a Lusmanverg, so you can still use him for this task. Thanks, Professor. You've always been very loyal. Oh well, gotta go. See you later. Uh-oh, getting a call from the other guys. Hello, baloney. What's up? Yeah, hey, professor. Anyway, listen up. Turns out the guy we sent out to capture Lusmanverg, it's actually one of his friends, or something like that. That's what he keeps saying. Now, the now the Y guys say they have a, a way to work around this, but I'm having trouble believing them. So what do you suggest we do? Uh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry, baloney. I'm sure we'll find a way to make this work in our situation. Yeah, yeah, that's what Harry said too, but I have a hard time believing him. Just calm down, and remember, this will probably work out in our favor eventually, and we'll defeat those idiots. Eh, I guess I feel a little bit better. Thanks, man, you're always so loyal. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot.